Hello and welcome to another screencast from NERCL. Today's screencast hopefully will show you how to generate dot turbo map formats for offline mapping within the TurboNet platform. First question is why bother? You already have Google Earth and OpenStreetMap projects online. The thing we need to address here is we're not always online. We may have limited internet connection or poor bandwidth. And also Google Earth for commercial use requires a license. We use three software applications to do this. The first one is SAS.Planet. The second is the TurboNet Map Cutter software. And the third software is Microsoft Notepad or a simple text editor. Once we've downloaded these programs, we need to install SES Planet. Okay, first things we need to do is change the language, it's predominantly in Russian. Click English, which is obvious. Next thing we need to do is ensure that all the Google, the three Google map formats need to be in English as well. If you go to map parameters, currently on the satellite, and if you look on the the last three characters here, equals are you, it's obviously Russian, so if we change that to equals en for English, and apply, if we change the next map to the normal road map, and again go to parameters, change that to English, apply, change the landscape, go to map parameters, again change that to English. That typically will get you where you need to be. Let's go to normal map and now and obviously from this point on I'm gonna change the source selection to internet and cache. Okay. Zoom in the UK. because I've never run this program before on this PC it's currently downloading the mapping information once downloaded its retrieval is a lot quicker we'll zoom in the northeast there we go I'll just point out a couple of things here bottom status bar here is quite useful to tell you the location where it's actually caching the map it's on the desktop this is the zoom level if I go in one more level we're down time 16 again go in a bit further time 17 times 18 and again we're just on the Google map road road map format And as you can see now I've downloaded the most of the information that I need, it's still downloading a bit of a few tiles here and there. Click on satellite. Again, there's the satellite image. Again, I've just previously downloaded this, so it'll come up quite quickly. And um, the area I'm interested in is this area here. If I go in landscape, zoom out, there we go. There we go, that's already cached there. So that's my area of interest. Click on satellite view. So if everybody likes. Zoom a bit. Right there we go. Next thing we need to do is select an area for the map. Um, I keep it nice and straightforward. Next thing we need to do is go to operations. We need to select. It's easier to calibrate the map if we just use square wave areas. And then we'll click and drag. Then we've selected the portion of the map we want to save offline and calibrate. We now need to use the stick term. 
change the quality of the JPEG just to keep the size down a little bit to 50 and then we'll, we'll select the .kml format that it's going to upload click start, it's going to ask where we want to do it, we'll just save it to the desktop initially um, desktop. I'll just put test save at this point now we've captured the image information we need we can close this program and there's the two files that have been exported we have a bitmap image and we've also got a, a, K, a .kml file which is basically an xml again if we just, just go through this a little bit I'm going to just put some carriage returns in here so you can see The main area we're really interested in is the north, south, east and west and these are your longitude and latitude coordinates here. Basically it's give us the four points of the map that we actually need to calibrate all the internal points. Okay, so if we just squash this down a little bit, keep it open because it'll be useful. We no, le we no longer need this one, the imp but we do need right click on it, properties. What we are actually interested in is the details there, the dimensions. We're actually interested in the dimensions. I mean, that's all we really need for the time being. We now open the map cutter application from Turbonet. And what it's asking for is open, so we give it a desktop, it's looking for a bitmap image, and we open the bitmap image, and there we have it, the same image, we'll just open this a bit wider. One thing to quickly point out is, historically, X and Y coordinates, bottom left hand corner, is typically 0, 0, X is 0, Y is 0. And if you look at this area here, that's not the case, X may be 0, but Y isn't. So the datum or the orange the origin is top left hand corner for zero zero, okay, which threw me at first. We need to now set points. It's saying two points on the map. Is it okay, thank you. Click anywhere on the map. And what we're gonna do is we click X is zero and Y is zero, which is this point here. And the latitude is typically north. So if we just cut that, paste in there, longitude, longitude is obviously west as in north, east, south and west, that's how the orientation goes, so we'll put west in, again it's easier to cut than copy so you know which ones you've used, cut, paste. So just to recap, we've manually put in X and Y coordinates there, which is 0, 0, which is the top left hand corner. Click OK and click another point. Again, the other point is going to be historically down here. But click anywhere. We know what the Y coordinate is. Dimensions on here. X and Y. So 836 pixels. So 836 pixels which is typically going to be 836 pixels from the top down X would be the 1042 10 42 right latitude is obviously going to be the two left it's going to be south longitude is the last one remaining so obviously east OK, and then we need a cut map. At this point, if it asks that we need to rotate the map or anything like that, you've, we've done the coordinations wrong. Rotate image by x, x, x. We've done it wrong, so you may as well stop, start again. Now it's asking the directory. Um, let's 
desktop and again put it on the desktop. For the time being, title, test map, click OK. There you go, done. Okay, just close these down a second. Don't save. Um, and there's your, there's our two original files. The .kml file we can actually delete now, we don't need it. The original bitmap we can delete as well. We don't need it anymore. The yeah, it's because that's been used. Right click. And there's the two files which the, the map cutter program has produced. There's the dot turbo map format. And as you can see in here, it's actually generated. You can see how the image is built up really. It's it's in it's segments of tiles. Typically, you need to keep these in the same in the same folder. So we'll create a folder test map. I will put a satellite image um, underscore test map sat, and just put them both in there to get them together. And there, that's it. That's your dot turbo map format created and calibrated. Next thing we need to do is just quickly test the map, make sure it loads up OK in the Turbinet Dispatcher, we'll invoke the program. Just quickly log on. Using version 3. There we have it. Navigate to the GPS positioning section. Default map that I've I have on at the moment is OpenStreetMap. Don't need a license to operate this. Um, as you can see, I'm obviously online at the moment. Um, so this is this map is obviously being brought to me live. There we go. Now I need to open another map. I'll open another map in the new tab down here. It's a turbo map format. We need to add it. We put it on the desktop, I believe. There we go. There we go. Open that. And then, okay. There we go. Test map. Maybe zoom a little bit. Uh, the map actually for the screens too small. I should have maybe cut a bigger area. But there you, can, you get the gist. Online map and there's the image we calibrated. We calibrated this point here and this point here. And again, it can be once you've done it a couple of times, it can be generally done very, very quickly. If you need any help on the dot turbo map creation or mapping in general, please use our contact details. Thank you.